If you have kids that are waiting for Santa, put down what you're doing because you're going to want to listen to this. Uh, right now, this time, uh, NORAD is once again tracking Santa Claus, getting ready to because Santa's going to make his journey very soon around the world. So joining us live this morning is Chief Warrant Officer Deep in Mystery, the Chief Warrant Officer for First Canadian Air Division and Canadian NORAD region. Uh, Chief, thank you for joining us this um, morning. And uh, I know you guys are busy pre preparing for Christmas Eve. We are. Thanks for having me. All right. Can you tell us where Santa is right now? Uh, I mean, I'm sure he's still in North Pole preparing all the presents, but, um, you know, what, what do you guys do to prepare for his trip? So you're, you're absolutely right. Um, before December 24th, uh, Santa's still in North, uh, the North Pole, as far as we know. Um, our, uh, our systems have not uh, picked up any movement uh, from Santa just yet. So, uh, we um, we use the same uh, systems that we use to track threats to North America from an uh, aerospace control warning and maritime warning um, uh, point of view. Um, and we use uh, radars, satellites, and uh, military aircraft to track Santa. Um, and, and we do know that on December 24th at around 6 a.m. Eastern Time, um, Santa Claus leaves the North Pole based on our um, radar tracks. Well, I mean, you have a full staff, it looks like. Rooms and rooms of people and watching monitors. How do you coordinate that between uh, teams of, of folks? Obviously, like, they're the, the elves to the elves. <laughs> um, so we have, we have approximately 1,000 um, uh, oh, uniformed wow. and uh, civilian members, both Canadian and uh, U.S. military. Um, and we have volunteers from um, the Colorado Springs community that uh, come together to uh, to help um, track Santa every year. How has technology uh, progressed in advance since the, since the beginning days of NORAD and tracking Santa? So so technology, uh, as we all know, advances um, every year. Uh, it, it's just constantly evolving. Um, but uh, from a NORAD point of view, uh, our our systems remain. Uh, the same, although they are a little bit more advanced. Uh, but we do use our radars, which is the uh, which includes the North Warning System, um, uh, based uh, in northern Canada and Alaska. Uh, we use satellites, um, and our satellites have infrared sensors um, in geosynchronous orbit. And we use military aircraft, um, a combination of U.S. and Canadian um, uh, aircraft, which is U.S. F-15s, F-16s. F-22s, F-35s, and Canadian CF-18s. So impressive. Tell us, um, can you tell us a little bit about how this tradition started? Yeah, so this tradition started um, 70 years ago. So in 1955, uh, there was an advertisement in a Sears catalog that published a phone number uh, for children to be able to contact um, this phone number to find out Santa's location. Well, this phone number was off by one digit. Um, and the phone number listed actually put children through to um, the Continental Aerospace Defense Command, the predecessor of NORAD. Um, and a colonel picked up the phone and was surprised to hear a children's voice on the other end asking for Santa's location. Uh, he played along and uh, we've continued the tradition for 70 years now. Oh gosh, that I forgot the story. That is so sweet um, to uh, to hear about how it started, and really helping Santa during his mission. If if kids want to try to keep track of Santa's travels as well, how do they do that? There's various ways. Uh, th there is a website, um, NORADSanta.org, uh, where where children can keep um, a track of Santa's location on a map. Um, there's also a phone number that uh, children can call. Uh, the phone number is one eight seven seven hi norad uh, and operators are standing by um, in the operations center to, uh, to provide uh, Santa's exact location at any given point in time on December 24th. Yeah, what, what are kids asking now these days when they're calling up? The, the, the big thing is when is Santa going to visit my home and where is Santa <laughs> right now? Uh, and, and our answer is normally um, to, to, to really just let the kids know that uh, although we don't know exactly when Santa is going to arrive at, uh, at their home, uh, we do know based on past experience that Santa um, visits home between 9 p.m. and midnight on December 24th. Uh, 
but he won't visit when children are awake. So he will wait until children are sleeping. So if children are awake at a specific home, he will skip it and come back later. Do you have any favorite moments uh, or memories from NORAD's uh, Santa's tracking operations? So for me, it was, um, as a kid, I used the phone number as well, one eight seven seven hi norad uh, to track Santa's location. I, I just remember having, just having that joy of knowing where Santa was on that day. Um, and, and now working in the uh, NORAD Operations Center, it, it's, it's now come full circle. And, and I just, it, it just makes me happy to be able to uh, provide that same information to children today. That is so great. And uh, your message to children waiting for Santa then all night? Is to be patient, go to sleep at <laughs> when your parents tell you to, um, because Santa will come to your home. Um, like I said, if you're not sleeping, Santa is going to have to come back again. So um, be patient. <laughs> All right. We appreciate NORAD's help in, in Santa um, being efficient, helping the kids know what uh, to look out for and, and trying to get them to bed. It's always, it's always good for the families to get them to bed at a, at a decent time. It always, I always found it so tempting uh, to keep an eye open. Very difficult to sleep that night. You and I both. <laughs> All right. Chief Warrant Officer Mystery, we thank you for uh, letting us in a little bit, uh, peeking behind the curtain a little bit on uh, Norad's operations. 70 years. Unbelievable. It's awesome. Thanks for yeah, it's taking our your time. It's our <laughs> North America. All right. No coal in my stocking. <laughs>